It's blowing a gale today in Pontypandy, but a hurricane wouldn't lower the spirits of the ever cheerful, debonair Trevor Evans, the bus. Oh! oh. Fireman Sam's just finishing his breakfast. High winds this morning in South Wales, but moderating later in the day. Mm. Gay warnings in force. I quite like windy days. Wind blows those cobwebs away. I know. I think I'll give Sarah and James a ring. Perhaps we could go to the park after I finish my shift. Odd. That's very odd. The phone's dead. Pronto, pronto. Hello, hello. Oh, il telefono. He not work. Hello there, Bella. I love my usual. Cheese and chutney sandwiches, please. Sandwiches. How make the sandwiches? I got no bread. I phoned the baker, but the phone no work. Oh, mamma mia. Hmm. Leave it to me, Bella. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Sarah, James. Oh, Mr. Evans, can you drop us off at the park, please? Hop in, then. Oh, that's a nice kite you got there. I'll show you how to fly it. But we know, Mr. Evans. Not as well as me, my sugar lumps. Make me some tea, make me some tea, make me such a lovely cup of tea. You got, you got any plans today, Sam? Not very easy to make plans, Elvis. The phones are dead. Dead? Oh, that's sad, man. Oh, Darrow. Now who needs the fire service? Get to work, man. Telegraph fell down on the new town road. All present and correct, sir. Right, let's go. Steady on. Uncle Sam's in a hurry today. Here we are, sir. Here's the cause of the trouble. Yes, yes, here is the cause of the trouble. Trouble? It's not on fire. Yes, we know. But it's a danger to traffic. Oh. Oh, yes. Dillis Price wants to get Mummy's little Norman from under her feet. I want to watch the telly. That's all you ever do. You'll have square eyes, my sweet. Oh, Mum. Now then, off you go to have a lovely play in the park. Norman! Scram! Now then, you hold the kite like so. Keep the string tight, arm's length. Oh, oh, it snapped. Now don't worry, it'll be up in no time. Oh, oh, no, hang on a minute. Oh, no, no, come back here. No, come, come to Trevor. Oh, oh. It's well. Oh, Mr. Evans, look out! Uh, oh, 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 oh. Sorry, Mr. Evans! It's quite all right, Norman. All systems go, Cridlington. Yeah, go, man, go. <coughs> I, no, I, I mean, uh, all systems go, sir. Right, Fireman Sam, reverse mode. Yes, sir. Come on, Jupiter. Back a bit. Back. 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 Yeah, yeah, no, no, that, right, that, that, that'll do. Okay, man, make up another job well done. There. We leave the rest to the telephone engineers. Mm. 
Well, I don't know what the world's coming to. No telephone now. Mamma mia! Che cosa? Oh, do you have to be so dramatic? Oh! Well, I never! I'll just tell Bella that the telephone problem's in hand, sir. Uh, quite right, Fireman Sam. Well, that's it, ladies. We've done our bit. The, uh, the tele... The t oh, what's, that, what's that kite doing on your roof, dearest? Nothing to do with me, Sam. I don't know. He, he just fly there now. Mm. Looks like Sarah and James's. Well, we'll get it down this time as a special favour. Don't you fall, mind? Ah, oh, bellissimo. You worry about our son. No! My apples! Oh! Uh, mind, uh, mind yourself, ladies. Yes, uh, ladder coming through. Extend. Well, into the building. You worry about your apples. What if he fall? I won't fall, Bella. I've done this a thousand times, I have. Right, here we are. Well, it won't be long now. Right then. Uh, it... oh! Oh. Oh. Steady, sir. Careful! Right. There. Got it. Hooray! Uh, good for you, Fireman Sam. Hooray! Bravo, bravo, ah! bravo, bravo. Oh, yes, he's so brave. There we are. I hope you didn't break anything up there. And you tell Sarah and James to look after things in future, mind. Norman, now, he's never lost anything. Yes, all right, dearie. Uncle Sam. Come quickly. It's Mr. Evans. He's hurt his arm. And lost our kite. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, I, I can see the problem. Uh, ba ba bandages. <coughs> mm? Oh, bandages. Uh, uh, not to worry. Uh, nothing too serious, eh? Uh, that arm will be fine in no time at all. I'm not surprised. It's the other one that hurts. <laughs> I don't think you'd better drive home with two bad arms, Trapper. Sorry about the kite, kids. Oh, it's all right, Mr. Evans. Huh. I, I wonder where it's got to, though. Well, now, take a look over there. Oh, thanks, thanks Uncle a lot, Sam. Uncle Sam. When he used the firebell chime, Fireman Sam is there on time. It's another quiet day in Ponty Pandy. You wait till I catch you all, guys! What an awful mess! They're all over the shop! You come back here this minute, Norman! Morning, Dillis. 
traveler. How are you, my lovely? More to the point, how are you, dearest? Bit of trouble? Oh, no. Well, you know, it's, it's trying to help me was, you see, putting the sherbet lemons on the top shelf. It's, it's a good boy, really, Norman. Aye, well, I suppose so. Any deliveries this morning, my darling? Only those tins for Ponty Pandy Fire Station? Ah, I know what they'll be. Careful not to hurt your back now. Morning, Trevor. Need a hand? Well, if if you just open the back doors... Oh, Trevor. You're so strong. Oh, I think so. It's for us anyway. For us? Well, for the fire station. It's the paint. Glad I'm not on duty today. Oh, dear. I'd forgotten. Every day I peel the potatoes and make the chips. These are people in Wales, they eat only the chips. I no no. Hey, what do you think, Rosa? Where do you get to now, puss? Hello there, Bella. You got my sandwiches ready, please? Here you are. Thanks, Bella. Oh, Sam? Yes? You see, Rosa, you send her home for dinner, please. Will do. Delivery's late, because it's the weekend, I suppose. Now, where's Cridlington? Fireman Cridlington! Come in! Reporting for duty, Station uh -oh. Officer Steele, sir. Looks like you've put your foot in it again, Cridlington. Oh. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, poor thing. Don't worry, Rosa. We, we'll think of something. <laughs> oh, good. It's Trevor the bus. Mr. Evans, Bella's cat's up that tree. Look. She's stuck. Have you got a ladder? No. Now, oh, let's see. <laughs> I'll climb up my sugar lumps. I mustn't be long, though. The match starts early today. Paint the door red, that's what he said. Want to do something groovy instead. Door so big and the brush is so small. Dappy dappa. Oh, oh. Uh, how's it going, Fireman Cribblington? Oh, uh, you, sir. Yes, on the door, Cribblington. Morning, Fireman Sam. Spot a painting for you both today. Keep you busy. <laughs> what? Well, there's not much paint left, sir. Plenty more on the way, Fireman Cridlington. Won't be long. Yes, I'm afraid so, Elvis. Oh. Ah. Oh, goodness me. Try that branch. It looks stronger. You can do it, Mr. Evans. Oh, well, I, I don't know. Um, no, oh, dear. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Ratted cat. Oh, dear. Uh, it's a long way down. I, I don't like heights. I, I feel a bit uh, dizzy like. Oh. I, oh! Perhaps you'd better phone Uncle Sam. Oh, help. Now, who needs the fire service? Bella's Cafe. Fire at Bella's Cafe. On the double, men. All present and direct, sir. Right, let's go. Fire. Ah, that's what we need, sir. A dump cloth. <laughs> that 
answered. Oh, Sam, bravissimo, my hero. Well, no problem, Bella. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, well, good work, Fireman Sam. Right, man. Make up. Uh, feeling better now, Mrs. Lasagna? Don't worry. A good, strong cup of Welsh tea, that's what she needs. These Italians, so dramatic they are, should stick to spaghetti, see? Safer. WB, over. We'll call uh, Jupiter 999, over. Uh, Order. message Order. just Order. come through, sir. Cut answering to the name of Rosa and a man called Trevor, up a tree in Pandy Square. Oh, Trevor! Rosa, piccolo, cara, Rosa! Oh! Don't worry, Mr. Evans. Uncle Sam's on his way. <laughs> Get to work. Stand by to slip. Slip. Better move to one side, you two. OK, Uncle Sam. Into the tree. All right, Trevor. We'll soon get you down. Oh, oh. Oh, the sooner the better. I, oh, I, I, I just can't do it. Oh, come on, Fireman Evans. Oh, uh, yeah, tra Trevor, you'll, you'll miss the march. Eh? Hey. Oh, well, yes, uh, oh, that, that is uh, correct, yes. Right. Oh, look out! <clears throat> Would have expected better from an auxiliary, Fireman Evans. Well, that's you down, Trevor. Now for Rosa. Oh, where's she gone? Oh, that cut. Thanks, lads. Hey, kids. How about coming to the match with me? Can we? Oh, great! Oh, that's smashing! Gotta be quick, though. We should just make it. Right, man. Make up! Oh, no. Well, no painting today anyway, Elvis. Oh, smashing. I, I mean, what a shame. Rosa. Well, I'm afraid I can't tell you. You no bring her home? <coughs> Rosa! Cara Rosa! Oh, grazie, Sam. When we use the firebell chime, Fireman Sam is there on time. Someone might be in a jam. In a field above Pontibrandi, on a rather hot day, Sarah and James are picking potatoes for Bella Lasagna. Oh, it's hard work, this. Girls, 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 moan, moan, moan. Come on, let's just get the job done. Just cos you know Bella will give you some ice cream, greedy. Listen, it's Uncle Sam and Jupiter.
Well, sir, a day and a half this has been. It's a weather, I suppose. That's right, Five and Sam. Uh, blazing hot weather means lots of fires. Hey, Cridlington? Eh? Oh, I, you blazer, sir. A, bla a blazing hot uh, weather. Uh, too, too right, uh, man. Um, sir. Who, who's in that field over there, Sam? Oh, that's Sir and James. What are you doing in Bella's potato patch? Picking potatoes for tomorrow's chips. It's hard, mind. My back aches. <laughs> Does it now? Well, let's have a think. Yes, good idea, that, helping Bella. Carry on the good work. Bye, Uncle Sam. Bye, Uncle Sam. Dillis Price is busy packing a picnic for Mummy's little darling, Norman. There you are, my sweet. Oh, Mum, where am I supposed to go? I don't know what to play with. But go fishing, Norman. You do love going fishing, don't you, my sweet? Oh, fishing? I don't want to... Look, Norman, I don't care if you do want to or do not want to go fishing. And you do go fishing. Now then, off you do go. Norman? Oh, Mummy's little darling. Now, now, Doris, now, I, now, I won't be late. Oh, oh, um, now who needs a fire service? Barn fire, Pandilone Farm. All present under correct, sir. Right, let's go. Mrs. Lasagna? Mamma mia, I don't know. Yeah, good fun fishing, really. Now, let's see. Uh, jump tart. Oh, maggots. Look at that, we've, we've only filled half a bucket. Oh, that sounds like something serious. Great fires of London, I say. Oh. Right, man the hose, men. Come on, let's get this one before it spreads. That's it, men. On the double. Water on, sir. Water on. This little scorcher under control in two shakes, and it'll be another job well done. How's the water level, sir? The, uh, the what? Uh, oh, oh, oh! It's going down fast. How's the fire? It's going out slow, oh, sir. Oh, it's a bit of a problem there, sir. Not at all, Cridlington. Um, what, what, what do we do when the water runs out? Oh, we uh. We look uh, for the uh, nearest nearest hydrant, sir. No hydrants round here, sir. Ah, oh. Uh, well, we look for a drain and pump the water out. No drains either, sir. It's, it's all open country. Oh, dear. Um... Bumblebee, spelly button. A bite? I do believe I got a bite. Slush! Oh, drat. A lot of good that is. Fire nearly out, sir. Good. Oh, water did out. Oh, 
War. Um, water, water outside. <laughs> well, yes, I, I knew that'd been up. That, uh, yeah, that, that, that was lucky, wasn't it, sir? I've just remembered. There's a pond down the road. Perhaps we'd better fill Jupiter up and come back to dump things down anyway, sir. <laughs> right. Uh, right, then. Yes, I think we should come back and dump things down anyway. Man the engine. <sighs> right, chaps. Work from open water. Ready to prime, sir. Hmm? Oh! Oh, it better be a fish this time. Oh, drat and double drat. Crumbs! I've done it now. I pulled the plug out. Yes, that's full. Right, knock off, chaps. Well done. Ah! Now all those bits and pieces have given me an idea. Hmm. Brill, Uncle Sam. But what is it? Ah! Now let me demonstrate the Samuel Peyton Potato Picker. There we are. Potatoes picked. Oh, thanks a bunch, Uncle Sam. Uh, do you do deliveries too, Uncle Sam? I think we can give you a lift back to Bella's. Hey, sir, quite right. And you can give them a hand with the potatoes, Cridlington. Eh? Oh, oh, right, right, oh, sir. Bella Lasagna's Cafe next stop, eh? Come on, kids. I, 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 I'll take your buckets. And I think it's ice creams all round. Lush. Greedy guts. Right, you two, in you get. Oh, he's Jupiter. Perhaps I can have a lift. Oi, wait for me. Oh, Dad, oh. It's Saturday morning in Pondipandi. Sarah and James are Tick, calling on their Uncle Sam because they know it's his day off. Tick! Tickle, 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 tickle! <laughs> Zap! Pow! Wow! Robot Master, the movie! <laughs> What's all this about a robot master? That's the name of the film we're going to see this afternoon. Remember? Of course I do. In fact, I've been getting ready for it. I'm working on a popcorn machine. Mega Brill! Great! Well, I must get back to my inventing shed. What time's the film? Two. Oh, that leaves me plenty of time. 
Now then, you two, this is a no-go area. You can't come in here till I've finished. There's some squash and biscuits in the kitchen. I'll see you later. Oh! Fireman Cridlington and Auxiliary Fireman Evans are reporting for duty. An easy job today, men. And you, Fireman Cridlington, are in charge. Oh! Oh, in right or, sir. Now, I want you to take Jupiter out and top up the water tank from the hydrant situated at the junction of Newtown Road and Pandy Lane. And it must be done as quickly as you can. Right? Okay, sir. Oh. Come on, Elvis. All present and correct, Elvis. Right, Trev. Let's go. Oh, Norman, there's lovely you look in your cowboy outfit. You do remind me of the film stars. Oh, Mum. Say, Mum, I hear the stagecoach coming. No, it's not the stagecoach, Norman. I wonder where they're off to with such a late... Now then, Norman, my sweet. Mummy's got a lot to do. Off you do go and play. OK, partner. See you at sunset. Now then, if I fix this sprocket to the piston, yeah. yes, that's right. Bit of a genius you are, Fireman Sir. We are trapped. Off we go. Stop, uh, stop. Oh, no, I mean, knock off. Knock off, Hydrant. Knock off, Hydrant. Right. Uh, make up the gear trap. Oh, good. Good, oh, you're doing all right here. Huh? Next stop, Ponty Pandy Fire Station. Hang on a minute, Elvis. Oh, that boy. I don't know. Well, it's too far to walk. Uh. Stick him up! Norman Price? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing, big chief selling bull. Oh, right. Well, you see, Sheriff. I'm waiting for the Braves. Hey, those the Braves who shot the posse this morning? You there, Chief? I'm taking you in, big Chief Setting Bull. Hey, now, just just a minute, Norman. Stop it. No, stop it. I, I'm only acting. Well, I eat, and I got the key. See? E oh. Oh. Thanks a lot, Norman. How's it going, Uncle Sam? Won't be long now. <coughs> well, not very long. <sighs> oh! That was quick. Reporting back. The job's done, sir. And in double time. Jolly good, Kidlington. First rate. But where's Fireman Evans? Oh, is oh well no I I well I just go and fetch him sir no I I, I won't be long you've done it again Cridlington I'm coming with you this time well I never half a ponty bunny must be on fire. Uncle.
Uncle Sam. We're with you now. Oh. Oh, well. This door's jammed. Oh, dear. What was that, then? I think I must have screwed the throttle tweaker too tight on the overhead sprocket. What does that mean? It means there's not enough air getting through to the funnel chamber. And what does that mean? It means there's a high degree of flumbustication. Oh, I think we'd better phone the fire brigade. Hmm. I do hate wasting time. Don't let it happen again. Ah, now what have we got here? Handcuffs. Very dangerous things, Norman Price. Jupiter 999 <laughs> from... Sorry, Trev, I got, uh, got carried away, I did. Wilco, Jupiter 999, over. WV, out. Right then, emergency reported at 3 Vale Road, person jammed in shed. 3 Vale, vale. I, I know that address. So do I, Crittington. It's Fireman Sam's. Let's go. <laughs> What about me? Oh, not again. Oh, look, Mr. Evans. I found a key. Oh, at last. Come quickly. Uncle Sam's got stuck in his inventing shed. Follow me, Piddington. At the double. Here they are, Uncle Sam. Don't worry. <laughs> Good heavens! It's beginning to look serious. Stand back, children. Take cover! Oh, well, here's the popcorn anyway. Now, what time did you say that film started? When he used the firebell chime It's a hot day in July, and tennis fever has taken over in Mrs. Price's general store. Oh, yeah, oh yes, that, that's it. Oh, what are you watching, Mum? Tennis? Oh, boring. Oh, no, it isn't. Lovely it is. All oh, that grass, the champagne, and strawberries. Hi, Norman. Want to come to the park to play football? No, don't go to the park. You can go and pick me some strawberries. Oh, Mum. Off you to go, the three of you. Hello, Bella. Got to go and pick strawberries. Oh, the strawberries. He's a wonderful. I make the strawberry gatto like in Italy. I like some sugar, please, Mrs. Price. Oh, dear. Two of sugar. You come over to my cafe. I'll show you how to make the beautiful strawberry gato. Mm-hmm. Yes? Ah, Newtown Gazette, you said. 
You, you got my letter, did you? Well, yes, I think you could take a photograph, yes. Ah, uh, no, 25 years in the service, my good man, not five. I've got more strawberries than you. Well, I've got lots more than Norman. You'll be sick, Norman. Oh, no, I won't. Oh, that, uh, that looks an interesting little parcel, son. What is it? Oh, dear. It's a mistake, I think. It's Station Officer Steele's long service medal. A mistake? Yes, we'll have to take it back. Presentations at HQ in Newtown. No problem, though. We've got to go there to pick up the new hoses. <coughs> um, don't forget, oh, man. <laughs> it's my 25 years long service award tomorrow night. Oh, uh, many happy returns, sir. I just hope that one day you'll be able to follow in my footsteps, Crittling to... Oh! We've got to go now or we'll miss the bus. Oh, I, I, I don't want to go on a bus. That's because you'll be sick. No. I, I, I just want to practice, Eddie, and that's all. That's my ball. You'll have to walk then, smarty pants. Oh, good. Hello, you two. Tasty looking strawberries you got there. Oh, juicy. Ah, you found the old well. It used to be a wishing well when I was young. Did you wish to be a fireman, Uncle Sam? Of course, and I am. So if you throw in a coin and make a wish, it could come true. Here, you have a go. Great. What? The chance of a lifetime. I wish I was a rock star. No, you're not supposed to wish out loud. Oh, wrong again. Oh, there's the bus. Got to go. Bye, Uncle Sam. <laughs> Those kids. <laughs> I feel sick. Oh, no. And it's not even my ball. Oh. Oh, I'll have to get it back. When we get to Newtown, I'll sort out the hoses. You can drop the metal off. Metal? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, the metal. Good. Oh, good idea. It's in my, uh, uh, it's in my, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, not in my pocket anymore. I, I think I can reach it. Uh, nearly. Yeah. Oh! oh. Mom! Oh, uh, so sorry about the medal, Sam. Well, it was an accident, Elvis. But the problem is, how do we get another one by tomorrow night? What? An accident with a medal, old Kidlington. Oh, heck. He's a beautiful. You bring her the bellissimo strawberries. Hasn't my little Norman come back yet? No, he hasn't, Mrs. Price. Better bring my football. But he's missed his favorite TV program. That's not like my little darling. There's something wrong, I know. Right, old Ellis. We'll drive over to where Sarah and James saw him last. Norman! Norman! Oh, where are you? We'll never find my little sugar candy. Oh, oh! That's it, then. He's lost and gone forever. An angel's voice. He's in heaven. No! He's down the well. Now, who needs the fire service? Boy, down well at Pandy Lane Farm. All present and correct, sir. Right, let's go. Stand by.
by to slip. Fireman Sun's coming to save you, my darling. Ladder to well, men. Prepare to lap. I'm sure he's broken something. That's it, man. Stand by to lower. Lower away. Won't be too long now, Norman. I'm nearly with you, Norman. Are you all right, boy? It's just my foot hurts. Aye. Well, we'll see to that in a minute. Aye, it's all right, dearies. Sam's got him. Now, hold on tight now. Oh, Trevor! I'm overcome! Thanks, Fireman Sam. Catch, James. Frill! Norman! Let me hug the bravest boy in the world. Oh, get off, Mum. Now, take more care in future, my boy. Sorry, sir. Well, all's well that ends well. Nearly, eh? I just wish I had my medal, that's all. Mum, I made a profit down there. Look at all this money. Great fires of London. So that's where it went. This one isn't money. It's the medal. Did you say medal? It's my presentation medal. Well done, Norman. Oh, easy peasy. Here you are, my lovely. And here's a very special treat for a very good boy who's hurt his foot. A lovely slice of strawberry flan. Strawberries? Oh, no! When he used to buy a bell child, It's the day after the twins' birthday, and Uncle Sam's taking them swimming this afternoon as a birthday treat. It's brill, this plane. I'm glad I asked for it. It's mine as much as yours. Well, thanks for the loan of the cookbook, Penny. You love the veggie burgers. Uncle Sam! Hello, Uncle Sam. Hello, Penny. We've brought our bathers. Well, I've just been trying to phone you two. I'm afraid I've got to go to work this afternoon. Station Officer Steele's got the flu. Oh. oh. I'd take you, but I've only got my lunch hour. We could go to the park for a bit. OK. Let's go. See you later, Uncle Sam. Aye, have fun. Here's a family heirloom. Is a beautiful... No, Mrs. Price? They can work wonders in class these days, can't they? Good morning, ladies. Oh, a double dose of beauty to behold. Lucky me. Oh, oh, oh you had a card. I'll have a cup of tea, please, Bella, my lovely. Goodness me, you got a diamond the size of a sugar lump. 
You haven't gone and got yourself engaged, have you? Don't be daft, man. She inhabited that ring. Mum, there's a man in the shop. Tell him I'm closed for lunch from the VAT. Oh, excuse me. No, man. Come back here this minute. What exactly did you tell him? Now, come on, my lovely. Let's have another deco at that rock of yours. Oh, um, Bella, back, where is it? Oh, Mamma Mia, she disappeared into slim air. Well, no, no, you had it on when you washed those cups up. Cara Mia, it, it must be in the sink. Oh, no, no, it's not. Well, no, it's just gone down the plug hole. See, a bit to anything it has. We'll just uh, take the grill off the hole. No, it's too small for my hand. No, see, I'll try and get it from uh, from underneath. I no no. Uh, maybe my handy feet. No, which one is the worst? Um, is this? No, 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 no. It must be this one. Oh, blooming it! Trevori, what have you done? Oh, come, come over here, Bella Quinn. I can't. My hand is stuck in the puddle. <laughs> Ready for takeoff? I think so. Ready. Tucks away. Lift off. Real. Fantastic. Loop the loop. Wee. Oh, it's a wicked play in that. Can I have a go? Oh no, Norman. You'll break it. Oh, it's flowing like the river Taff. What can I do? I know. Where's the stop tap, Bella? He's, uh, he's under the, um, it's... Oh, I, I don't remember. Try, Bella, my lovely, while I dial 999. Oh. <laughs> the great Normando, master of the skies. He's coming towards us. Duck kids, don't worry. Oh, crumbs. I'm off. Look out. It's going to crash. It's no good. The control's broken. Oh, oh we'll never get it back. Yes, we will. Come on. Look at Bellas. It sprung a leak. All right. Stand back, Sarah and James. Heavens, what a flood. Now, you two go to the call box and phone the fire brigade. I'll fetch the portable pump from the tender. Better get Uncle Sam. I need your help with pumping out water. Oh, right, old Penny. I mean, a uh, firefighter, Morris. Flooded Bella's coffee. All present and correct, Fireman Criddlington. Oh, uh, right, Sam. Let's go. Two excitable by half these Italians. Bella, you're usually behind the counter, not on top of it. It's terrible. My hand is stuck. All under control. 
Oh, hello, Sam. Look, you happen to be passing, Penny. Right then, Fireman Cridlington. Let's free Bella. We'll just lubricate your hand with this washing up liquid, see, Bella? Right, now oh. you give it a twist, see what happens. Oh, my hand is come out! Grazie, Sam, my hero! Lovely cup of tea, this, Bella. Could do with a bit more sugar, though, I think. Hey, look what I found out the back. Hooray! Mega Brill! So our Norman's been trying to redesign the plane, has he? Anyway, should be easy enough to fix, I think. Allora, I make the bellissimo gatto to say grazie for saving me from the drowning. Oh, that's all right, Bella. Don't mention it. <laughs> Trevor, are you all right? <laughs> Well, I never... Mamma mia! Is it the diamond ring? It go down the wrong pipe. Well, it must have been in the sugar, Bella. Anyway, it looks very sweet on your finger. When he used the firebell chime, Fireman Sam is there on time. Someone might be in a jam. Sam's invited Sarah and James to a party in his garden. What was it you called this meal, Uncle Sam? Brunch. That's it, James. It's halfway between breakfast and lunch, so brunch. Good morning, sir, ma'am. Freshly squeezed orange juice for three. Oh, hello. Who are you? Would sir like his egg sunny side up or sunny side down? Sarah and James? This is Bentley the Robot, my latest invention. Brilliant! Wicked! Look no meat, look no meat. Eating healthy without meat. Cheese and pasta, whole meal too. That's the best for me and you. Whoa! Penny's going to love this. For luncheon, I can offer caviar, roast venison, and a selection from the sweet trolley. Uh, no, we're having vegetarian today, see? Oh, what on earth is... Good morning, sir. I trust you slept well. Good grief! Here's my new assistant, sir, who could give us a hand round the station. Station Officer Steele, meet Bentley the robot. Charmed. Yes, yeah, good idea. Hello. Ah. Yeah, well, perhaps you could get me a cup of tea before I go to Newtown. Oh, oh, Exum. Tea bugs was the one thing I forgot to buy. No problem. Bentley, first task, shopping at Mrs. Price's general store. Oh, my ninja space warriors are everywhere. It's so hard, 
I don't even know if I'll be able to do it. Morning, Mrs. Price. May I have some tea bags? Just a minute. Can't you see that? I oh! Norman! There's a spaceman in the shop! Come down here this minute! Mrs. Price, are you feeling unwell? Should I call a doctor? What's the matter, Mum? We're being invaded by beings from outer space! Whoa, a robot. Wicked. How does he work, I wonder? Who is your controller? Fireman Sam. See, Mum? It's just one of his inventions. Here we are, then. Thanks, Penny. Look, there's Uncle Sam's new assistant. Oh, Bentley, I'm off up to the station to do some welding. Would you like a lift? Don't mind if I do, Mom. These bags are rather heavy. He's got some funny friends, that fireman Sam. Now, Bentley, my boy, you take this lot and chuck it in the dustbin. Very good, Fireman Sam. He's half died, your buddy, Sam. Whoa, paraffin. This should get rid of grease and grime. I'll try and repair those locker doors now, Sam. OK, Penny. Here. Let me help you, Mr. Bentley. Now then, which is the eject button, I wonder? No, for some mega fun. Uh, uh, fancy a game of Raiders of the Lost Universe, Bentley? Raiders rule. Okay. <laughs> hey, gently, Bentley. Oi, there's no need to throw the towel in. Hey, I'm no danger to traffic. This welding job's more than I bargained for. Alert company! Mega bombs in operation! Raiders attack! Right, I'll just have to take your tape out, boy. Raiders of the Lost Universe? Now I wonder how that got in there. Ho oh, ho! Time I was off! Norman Price, I'll see you on my way home. Oh, my goodness. Man the hose wheel. Man the hose wheel! That's not Norman mucking about again, is it? Fire! Help! Heavens above! That's Penny's voice, Elvis. Right, man, the hose reel. Right you are, Sam. Oh, Penny. Elvis, it's too hot. I can't get in. Oh! But Bentley could. He could do it. If only I could get him working again. Elvis, you take the horse. Look, someone's lost a cassette. I wonder what's on it. It's Bentley's control cassette. How come it's here? Hey, there's smoke coming from the fire station. Gosh! We found Bentley's control tape. Great! That's what I need. Now, Bentley, go through the flames, get Penny. Certainly, sir. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Bentley's very brave. He's superhuman. It's all right. Bentley's bringing her out. Flames 
coming under control now, Sam. He's done it! Good man, Bentley. Yes, but what about Penny? I think she's all right, Elvis. Can you hear me, Penny? Oh. <laughs> what happened? <coughs> right, Norman. It's time I had a word with you. You know, you're very lucky that Bentley was able to save Penny. Yes, Fireman Sam. It could have been a very different story. Yes, Fireman Sam. Aye, well, lucky there's no structural damage. Just needs a very thorough clean. So keep mopping, my lad. And any more of your tricks and... No, Fireman Sam. Hmm. A disturbing incident handled with great speed and skill by all concerned. And I am proud to award James and Sarah for their speedy reactions the Pontypandy Fire Service Honorary Certificate. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Mr. Steele. I well done, you two. But for outstanding bravery, I award you, Bentley, the Gold Cross Medal for Exceptional Valor. Delighted, I'm sure. Delighted, I'm sure. Delighted, oh, I'm no. sure. Delighted, I'm sure. When 